here's an easy recipe on how to make these soft and delicious sourdough pretzel buns at home. Pour 210 grams or 3 quarter cups plus 1 tablespoon of water in a mixing bowl. Add 40 grams or 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil and 100 grams or a third of a cup of sourdough starter. Mix all the ingredients with a dough whisk until all the sourdough starter dissolves well in the mix. Add 400 grams or 2.5 cups of bread flour. First add half of the flour and then add 8 grams or 1.5 teaspoons of salt. I am using today pink Himalayan salt, but you can use the one you have in your kitchen. Mix the ingredients until the salt is dissolved in the mix and add the rest of the flour. Mix with your dough whisk until there are no dry spots of flour remaining in the dough. Then use your hands to knead the dough inside of your bowl until you have a very cohesive dough. Place the dough on your working table and knead it softly. This dough looks okay, but if I try to pull it apart, it still breaks. So keep kneading it until it's soft and elastic and it doesn't break as you try to pull it apart. Make a bowl with your dough and place the dough in a grease proofing bowl. Cover the dough with a lid or a plastic wrap and let it proof until it doubles in size for about 4 to 8 hours. Place the dough on your working table. Stretch and fold it on itself a couple times to degas the dough. I make a bowl of dough again. Portion the dough in 8 equal pieces with a silicone spatula. Use a kitchen scale to get equal sized buns in the end. To shape the buns, get a piece of dough and I stretch a piece of the dough to the sides and fold it back into the middle of the dough. Flip the dough around and with circular movements, make a ball of dough. This will add tension to the dough, which will help your dough to grow in the oven. Rotate the dough one last time to add more tension and place the shaped buns on a prepared baking sheet with parchment paper or a silicon mat. Make sure to leave some space in between the buns. Cover the dough with a plastic wrap or a plastic lid and let the dough proof for about 4 hours or until the dough doubles in size. When your dough is fully proofed, place it in the freezer for about 30 minutes. Now prepare a light solution with sodium hydroxide. I will leave a link in the description where you can buy this food grade sodium hydroxide. It is extremely important to be careful when using this product because it can cause severe chemical burns or poisoning if not used properly. Please make sure to buy the food grade sodium hydroxide. We use it to get the characteristic color and better chewiness and the traditional flavor that pretzels have. It is safe to use it when it's diluted at the rate that we will use it today. If you prefer to use a substitute, you can mix a quarter cup of baking soda with four cups of water and bring that to a boil in a large pot and drop one to two pretzels into the boiling water for 20 to 30 seconds. Make sure to always use a pair of gloves and protective glasses. In a glass bowl, pour a thousand grams or four cups of water and 30 grams of sodium hydroxide. Never add water to sodium hydroxide. Always add sodium hydroxide to the water. Dissolve the lye or sodium hydroxide in the water with caution. Add the bones to the water and let them soak for 30 seconds. Then place them in a prepared tray with parchment paper. Add pretzel salt or coarse sea salt on the bones while they are still wet. After you are done, make sure to dispose of the lye water solution. Pour it down the drain or check the regulations in your state to dispose of the lye water properly. Score the bones with a bread lame or a razor blade. Make an X pattern on your bones. And place the bones in a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius for about 30 minutes or until your bones are golden brown. These bones are soft and spongy inside with a brown crust sprinkled with coarse sea salt. They are delicious and a great start for any sandwich like this simple sandwich that I am making for lunch today. Thank you for watching this video. 
like and share this video and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I have a new video every week.